Emotional intelligence is a broad description of the ability to understand and control one's own emotions, together with the ability to manage relationships through the recognition and understanding of other people's emotions. What does it mean to you? Your performance, status, seniority, earnings, your relationships with other people, satisfaction, status, self-worth, your career progression inside and outside of your organization. And the more senior you become, the greater the extent to which your emotional intelligence comes into play. Some of your career highs and lows to date will have had their outcomes driven by your emotional intelligence. There is a direct correlation between emotional intelligence and business outcomes or results. Here's just three examples. In management and leadership positions, emotional intelligence, when combined with experience, is the best predictor of executive success, approximately 40% more successful. Sales results, where sales reps have been consulted and coached in respect of EI, have seen sales increase some 10 to 20%. Organizations which have worked proactively to develop the emotional intelligence of teams have cut attrition rates in half. EI is twice as important as IQ in determining future career success. And now for the good news. Unlike IQ, it can be developed. How can you develop it? There are four basic areas in which professionals apply emotional intelligence in decision-making and leadership. Self-awareness is the ability to understand your emotions as well as recognize their impact on relationships and performance. Social awareness is the ability to identify emotions in others and to understand their perspective and take an interest in their concerns. Self-management, controlling your emotions and using your awareness of them to stay flexible and act positively. Social skills and relationship management, your ability to use your awareness of your own emotions, together with your understanding of the emotions of others, to manage interactions successfully. Consider the four-factor model and Review any appraisal documentation and 360-degree feedback. Reflect on any big conversations you have had. Get feedback from those around you and your trusted advisors. And ask yourself, what worked well? What could have gone better? What do you wish you had done differently? What did you learn? Having become better acquainted with your emotional intelligence, you should now consider how you can better apply it.